Okay, so hopefully we should be live. Um, can someone just let me know if the audio is okay? I probably could just play it on my phone. I think there's about a, about a 20 second delay. Um, yeah, I think the audio sounds okay. So let's stop that. <coughs> okay, so um, I'll just give it a couple of seconds to catch up because you might be hearing some desktop audio. Um, but hopefully everything's okay. I've got a cup of tea, so we're all right. Um, so we're just gonna be unboxing today the Cybor Voron 2.4 um, kit. So this, let's get the sort of the, the disclaimer out of the way. This has been sent to me, um, let me just put the, there we go. Um, this has been sent to me for, for, the, for nothing, for doing a review. Um, but for me, it's also about giving some feedback to them so that if there's anything that perhaps doesn't look quite right or could be done better, that they get that information um, and so they can improve it rather than just um, sort of make critique about it and it stays the same. So what we'll do is we'll basically start from the top layer and go down. I've already opened the box just to make sure everything was sort of looked okay. But what I would like to do is skip the first thing that's in the top of the box and I'll explain why. Basically, what, as I said in my the update video that went out a couple of days ago, what I wanted to bring to this channel is things that have got a slight um, unique touch to them. So we all know Voron kits have been out for a little while. There's three or four different people making them now. But what I haven't seen is the kit that actually comes with ABS parts. Um, now I know that Cyborg also do a Voron V0 kit, which has got printed parts in. So it's sort of a little thing that they do. Now they do ABS printed parts, or some, I presume uh, the nylon is injected parts, I'm not sure. Um, also I will just, obviously say hello to the people who are in the chat. Sorry, I forgot about that. Um, so yeah, so there's, they have got a couple of options. There's a link in the description to their AliExpress store. Um, and I think it's quite important to point out that I've been told that there is only one official store, but I did manage to find a store that was either pretending to be them or was named the same or whatever. So the link in the description is to the store that I've been given the address to. So hopefully that's sort of the official one. Um, is there anything else I want to touch on? Yeah. So the ABS parts, I should say, the parts that you get are just, oh. And I don't think I had Oh, the alert box should be on, but I didn't see that come in. So I'm not sure what that was. <laughs> Apologies. Uh, maybe that that will come through in a second. Yeah, sorry about that. Not sure. Um, yes, yeah, so the ABS parts are the functional parts, which means you don't have all of the, the skirts. You don't have panel clips. Um, and I'm sure there are other bits as well that you do not have supplied in the kit. However, you can build, there should be the kit, the parts to build the kit, build the printer, and then you can print your, uh, 
the other parts, the skirts, the clips, etc. Um, I'm no idea why. Oh, I th ah, okay. I think it's because potentially that. Let me just. Oops. Let me just test something. Sorry. Yes. Okay. That's my bad. That was behind a camera. So I'm assuming that someone subscribed. So sorry about that. Um, yeah. So let's get started. But what I'll do is I'll skip the ABS parts to start with, and we'll look at them at the end in a, just so we can spend a bit more time on them. So I've got the box over here, so I will sort of go out of shot and come back with stuff. And hopefully I won't go too far because I've got a, a microphone attached. There's plenty of packaging in the box, so it was quite well packaged. I'll get a few things out and then I'll switch to the camera. Ah, oh, thank you Lars for subscribing. Yeah, I had the, the thing in the wrong place. Um, so if we go over to that camera, and I'm just gonna test that the alert box is on the top this time, just so. Yeah, so they will show up. That's just a test, I haven't donated to myself. <laughs> right. So, yeah, we do actually get a box of ABS parts, but we'll have a look at them in a second, a bit later. So we get a bit of this packaging out of the way. What I will probably do for later streams is try and get a few more camera angles. Um, I had a bit of a nightmare with cameras. Um, my Canon 60D died. So I then started using a backup camera and that died while I was making the last video. So at the moment we've just got the webcam of the laptop and another webcam, but we'll, I'll try and sort something out. Okay, so uh, how can I make this a little bit easier on myself? There we go. So hopefully, so I've got this resting on a chair at the moment. So let's get like the tools and stuff out and we'll have a look at those and see what we've been given. And then we'll sort of start getting into the kit. So we, we might get to some other tools a bit later on, but at the moment, this is what is in sort of the top layer for in terms of tools. So we've got this, let me, what I'll probably do is hold stuff up to the camera. So this is like a, um, a small screwdriver, but it's got like a, a push or a, a pull action clip that means you can take it out and turn it around so it's got a double end. And then it's got different notches to give you different lengths. I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, so that's that's the like double-ended screwdriver. We've obviously got our well-known side snips. I need to build my VLMP but my Rover battery solder on how has a tape. But my Ryobi battery soldering on has a tapered handle. Yeah, so the tapered, that shouldn't be an issue. So, uh, and I'm not an authority on this because I don't, obviously Adam designed it, fake the 3D for everyone else. Um, but there should be on the Discord, a link to a Google Docs that allows you to put in a couple of measurements um, and then one of the printed parts that you'll get if you either buy the, the STL or the kit um, is an adapter that should work with tapered handles because this soldering iron that comes okay so we've actually got a soldering iron in the kit um, has also got a tapered handle and it looks actually sort of very similar to the soldering station I've got. 
so I, I was actually thinking about using this in the vertical linear motion press from Vector 3D uh, and it's almost identical to my soldering station one so it means I can use this purely for heat press inserts and leave my soldering station alone so I thought that that was a nice touch to, in, to have included in the kit um, so this is this soldering iron has got adjustment on it for a temperature um, see if I can read it 200 up to 450 so this is a 240 volt 60 watt soldering iron which comes in the kit so with a UK plug as well for us lot over here um, what else have we got we've got some allen keys with ball ends on um, and I have actually just bought myself some of the nice wearer um, allen keys because I want I, I had sort of got a few odd sizes of, of allen keys but I wanted to obviously get the whole set so we've got a set of allen keys we've got a PTFE cutter Uh, what's this? A deburring tool. So these are all sort of nice things to have included. I'm not. I mean, I suppose you you could use that for the um, printed parts or something. Don't know why you'd want a deburring tool for a 3D printed kit, but it's nice to have. We've then got some crimpers. Ratcheting crimpers. Have they got any measurements on? Um, I can't see any measurements of the actual teeth to see what sort of size they're recommended for, but I'd imagine they're for the the sort of JST. XH connectors which will be included in the kit so yeah we've got actually quite a nice selection of tools there so we'll put them to one side just have a slurp of tea comments for JST yeah I reckon they are like I say it's actually it's nice to have them included um, I honestly think that this kit now I would I personally would not recommend a Voron especially a 2.4 as a first printer but if you've got say a Creality or an Anycubic or similar bed slinger that you that perhaps is not going to be the greatest for printing ABS parts if you've got the parts included in the kit to build the printer that's pretty good I think so yeah so another thing that I want to point out is that on the Aliexpress page for this printer I'm not entirely sure that the sort of the the bomb of what's included in like the graphic is 100% accurate because it basically says on there I think you're gonna get 25 meters of red and black cable and so I was thinking I'm gonna to have to crimp my own cable which while not is possible is not going to be fun but I opened up the kit and there's a pre crimped wire loom basically um, so yeah I was very impressed with that um, I would say that the labels on them are probably not going to oh so it's sort of a, a mix of Japanese, Chinese, I would imagine, um, and some English. It's, some of it's got some English on, like the power, but everything else, not really. Um, but yes, to include a crimped wire loom for a kit of this price, I think is pretty good. Having said that, one thing I am going to feed back to them is that they've put this horrible, you know, like 
how some manufacturers like to put the glue stuff on the connectors on control boards they've filled the the crimp or the the microfit connector with this horrible sort of gunky stuff um obviously they've done i know why they've done it but i would prefer that they didn't because if i have to try and take one of these connectors out because a cable breaks or whatever then this is horrible gunky stuff in it so plus one plus five for the for the cable loom minus one for the gunky stuff but we still have got some wire as well and this is silicon wire i think um i'm i'm not sure what the is it ptfe or there's another type but this feels more like the stuff that i got for my v0 umbilical so this is not silicon wire i think this is the better stuff the stuff you want in cable chain whereas this is the silicon really flexible stuff uh, and then we've got some thicker gauge stuff. Oh, oh no. Oh, I think this is PTFE. <laughs> I thought this was um, wire for, yeah, this is some red PTFE, which is pretty cool. I thought this was some thicker wire for, um, for like doing your mains or your bed heater, but no, red, red PTFE, nice. Um, if there's if you've got any questions, please do post them in the chat and I will try and see them Just bear in mind. There is a delay But I will I'll go back to things if I have to So speaking of more wiring We've got another couple of wires here This one is not labeled so I'm not entirely sure what it is I think this will be for the the Z axis limit switch, the the little PCB that goes with the pushy thing. And then you've got your Y and X end stop cable. Yeah, so this will go in the PCB end and then you've got the two that will go in the control board end. So again, more, more crimped wires for our loom, lovely. Uh, let's have a look what else we got. I'll grab a few things so we can sort of rattle through it a bit quicker. Right, so here's our mains cable. Or, sorry, not mains as in 20, um, 240 volt, but mains main wiring as in 24 volt to um, control board and SSR and that is so you can see so it's 2 times 1.5 millimeters squared I'm just looking for the the AG this is PVC wire have you seen any documentation from the provider um as in what type of documentation i've been so you may obviously you might be asking that because obviously i posted the question on twitter about combined manuals so i was sent a, a link to a, a 2.4 manual a voron manual that they'd basically edited um only on the the relevant sections about the control board that was in it which is a spider board. So I think the official manual is very much like, um, here's a space where a control board will go. It's up to you to wire it sort of thing. Whereas I think Cyborg wanted to, to, to say, this is what comes in the kit. This is what will go on that space. Um, I've sort of said, I, I don't think that's really necessary. They've, they've also included a, a larger wiring diagram um so i guess it it works there's no there's no reason not to have that included um so i i have got that from what i understand um because 
um, a Discord server was created today, which I have joined, and sort of discussions have gone backwards and forwards, and I think they're going to make a GitHub to put the stuff on. So that will all be available um, without having to ask for it or be emailed it or anything. That should be available at some point relatively soon. But I, I, I've got no official connection with Cyborg other than the fact that they've sent me this kit. Um, I've been talking to them um, and trying to work with them, but I'm, I don't work for them, if that makes sense. And I was looking on this cable when I for... Now, I'm sort of looking for the, is it AWG? But it doesn't really have it, but it's, it's got the size of the wire. I don't know if that makes a difference, but yeah, there's some, there's some wiring for our 24 volt. So I'm actually really impressed that this has come like this rather than what their original advert says, and I will feed that back. Yeah, yeah. I, that's sort of why I asked the question because I wanted to see what other people thought. I think because the LDO one is more premium, shall we say, and it's got sort of some of their own bits put in it, that's why they've done their own manuals. Whereas I think because this is basically a Voron kit with a couple of changes, that's why they've done it, so yeah. But I, I get why you're asking. Sorry if that was a bit loud. Um, so these are our Z-axis closed loop belts. So these go on the Z drives in each corner of the printer. So we've got four of them. We've got our power grip gates belt and that's branded on there and then we've got this one which doesn't appear to have anything on it so yeah we've got two belts and I'm going to assume that there is there's enough there to do the whole thing so one has got power grip gates belt on and the other one hasn't is now I don't I don't know an awful lot about the the four the 2.4 but these are different widths so I think the gates belts will be for X and Y and then the thicker wider stuff will be for the Z if I'm, if I'm thinking correctly so one's power grip gates belts one isn't some zip ties and then we've got our cable chains and these are the type that open or that one is yeah so these are the ones that the type that open up so you don't have to feed all your cables through in one go you can sort of lay them in so that's that's nice so we've got two that are 10 by 11 mil yeah so so obviously self-sourcing is certainly a um, a, a way to go and an option my idea my sort of I think kits are better because you you haven't got to wait for packages to come in or perhaps it's a, li a little bit more expensive than some kits but obviously the the LDO kit is a very expensive kit um, so this is these are 10 by 11 and this is 10 by 15 so our cable chains there. If you can't, if anything sort of goes out of frame and you want me to go back to it, please let me know. Um, let's get that, 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 that. Um, one of them, one of them. So I'm not obviously going to get everything out just because this is no point but I'll get at least one of everything out so that we can have a look at it right so we've got some big um, will these be 40 
40 mil. Just gotta go out of, out of shot so I can get a ruler. Sixty. So these are sixty by sixty fans, which will be for like the um, the exhaust fans on the the bottom of the printer. We've got three of them. Yep, three of those, twenty-four volt. We've got four feet now. I I think this is advertised as an R two kit, but I don't think these are the R two feet. They're not like, or they are, they're pretty similar to these um, compressor feet I've got, that I got for something else. So these are the ones in the kit. So yeah, they're not, I don't think there are two spec ones, but foot is a foot in it, really. So we've got four of them. Um, a sample of PLA. Now, I perhaps would have preferred this to be a sample of ABS so that you can print your other parts. I don't know how everyone else feels about that. I'll feed that back. It would just be nice to have the ABS to print the rest of your parts. Okay, yeah, heat bed out of stock, yeah. And obviously the, the pie situation is crazy at the moment. So yep, yeah, some some PLA. We've got the pulleys for the. We have to get, have to get used to this. So we've got the pulleys for the Z drives. Feel quite nice. Quite got a bit of weight to them. And they're obviously for our belts. No idea. I I haven't looked at anything so I'm not entirely sure what everything is let me just get a knife these will obviously be our bearings yeah 625ZZ bearings quantity 12 in here yeah and is NSK bearings a, a good brand does anyone know these are us these have all got um, NS NSK and then the type of bearing Japan on them so I, I assume they're pretty good ones now are these there's another box are these a different sort yes these are a different sort so we've got bearings as well Yep, and these are in a sealed bag, and again, NSK Japan written on them. So they look pretty good as well. Um, let's, we'll do that in a second. So we've got our, our a few connectors, some JST connectors, and Microfit connectors, Molex Microfit connectors. Nice, just a standard little box of connectors, really. We've got a few PCBs here. So this is our ZN stop. Got the Warren logo on. So obviously, what those cable looms that I showed you earlier earlier are for these. So there's our XY PCB as well. Uh, and then this is our so the the kit does not come obviously with stealth burner it comes with afterburner um, and then we've got this little PCB for so that it's interesting that actually the connectors are in the PCB let me turn that around for you but obviously we've got a wire loom with them on Apart from obviously here, we've got um, our hot end connector. Oh, 
which is also I was going to move on to that so that's the PCB connectors are in there terminals are in the little box and then we've got our heater which has actually already got a connector on so we've effectively got um, some spare connectors and we've got our thermistor in there as well hi you Adam vector 3d yeah this kit <laughs> I'm actually I've got the web page open so I'll, I'll bring it up so the the Voron 2.4 R2 kit 657 pounds and then obviously you've got shipping of 183 pounds so that's for the 300 mil the 350 is 75186 and then plus your 183 pound shipping uh, I I think that's a pretty good price. Obviously, we've not looked. Yeah, so Rich is just saying. Obviously, the shipping. We've not obviously gone through everything at the moment, but it's pretty good. I've got to say. So there's our hot engine thermistor with the connector on, um, crimped. Got a little bit of heat shrink around it to to capture those frayed bits, which always you always get. Uh, and the hot end is a feet, Fetus, I think this is, um, yeah, 850 delivered. So I had this kit sent, um, I think they sent it on the, I want to say on the 7th. So... Yeah, so I'm not, I don't know how you, how, I'm not really au fait with the, the fetus hot ends. But I think this is the high flow version. Because I've got a normal dragon in my um, V0. Let me see if the... Um, See if this says thank you for you thank you for your, your support of the fetus product. Yeah, so it's got I think it's got high flow written on here. So yeah. Yeah, high flow is what the like I say, the website there's a couple of things on the website that I wasn't hundred percent sure about. And then when I've opened the kit to have a brief look, there was I saw different things, so that's why I'm I'm, I'm not 100% sure what that is. But so let's move on because I've realised we're taking a little bit of time here. But I've got all night, so it don't really matter. So yeah, I'm not going to take. We've got another couple of fans here. So these fans will be for afterburner, and these aren't this these aren't. Um, You can tell the difference where the copper bulge comes up towards the cold side. Yeah. I should probably I will probably get up a, a web page later and have a look. But I think I think that does look different to the one that I've got in my V0. So So these fans are not um like GDS time or um, sun on or anything they're not really branded I mean this one's 3d geek station so fan quality is probably an unknown at this point but I think generally you I mean if we say that the kit is 850 pound total okay that's about half of an LDO kit right so if you said, okay, I'm going to spend an extra couple of hundred quid, you could then buy some nicer fans. I mean, there's by all, I'm going to be putting, everything that's in the kit is going in the printer. So I'm going to build it as the kit and then we'll just see how things go. So, but you've got a little bit of, not spare money, but you've got a little bit of extra cash you could potentially buy some nicer bits on. Um, I'm going to start putting some of this stuff back so that I can then take this layer out. So they're off 
our fans. There is another little bag here, which we'll have a look at. It's a 3M bag. So I'm assuming this is the uh, VHB tape maybe. Doesn't really say, it's all in Japanese or Chinese or whatever. Just It's just got 3M written on it. Oh yeah, VHB, sorry, on the barcode does a VHB tape. So proper 3M stuff, nice. Um, we'll have a look at a couple of stepper motors just so we can have a look at them. And they are stepper, stepper online motors with part numbers and serial numbers. So we could check those at some point. I haven't seen so far any data sheets for the stepper motors which I will again feed another thing to add to the list to feedback because it would be nice if they were included obviously because these are these these have got um, DuPont connectors on but the smaller motor which will obviously go in our afterburner has not got any connectors on the end because obviously this goes on our PCB so we'll need to know what wires represent which coils so it would be nice if those data sheets were included so that's pretty much the first layer i will um, put this back put a few things back in the box and then we'll take it move on to the next box so talk amongst yourselves <laughs> I was thinking about having some um, music in the background, but my taste in music, I don't know if that would be the if that would suit everyone. So I'm sort of like rock music, metal music. Um, tell, let me know if you'd like to have some music in the background, or I could certainly arrange it. got any questions about any of the stuff that I'm putting back please let me know and I'll I can come back to stuff The only sort of thing I would note about the packaging maybe is that the, the foam is a little bit smaller than the box. So there's a little bit of, um, I don't think nothing anything's moved around, but it, it potentially could be a, a little bit um, sturdier. No idea what come out of that, that hole, but we'll put that in there. put this stuff in the top and uh, where can I put this so I'm just gonna have a move around so I can take this layer out um, and then I'll get the next layer there we go right so next layer any other no no question so the next layer let's see what we got so again what i'll do is i'll get a few things out and then we'll speak about them so there is a couple of things that i've noticed about this layer when i was looking earlier which um, are slight negatives and i will feed that back before we get to it 
or as I get to it, sorry. Right, so the only other thing in there is the bed and that's what I was, <coughs> sorry, speak about in a second. Just have a swig of tea. Right, so we've got here a Meanwell LRS, LRS 224 volt. Quite a nice little unit. Already set to 230 volts on the side. the wrong way around there we go what have we got in here so this is our inductive probe and this is the Omron TLQ5MC1-Z in an Omron bag, so I'm going to assume that's a genuine a genuine article. Now although, I think the, so this would be, I think was this an R2 change? Because I know the old Voron kits were coming with those little red ones, which apparently were, got quite melty, and this may well do as well, so, um, I know obviously a lot of people move over to one of the mods. We've got our thermal fuse, um, 125C thermal fuse. There's a little bit of uh, stuff in the hole. Pretty standard um, to add that now in the Voron kits. I didn't actually install mine on the V0 um, because there wasn't a hole to, to attach it to the bed but I believe is the general consensus it's better to attach it to the bed and not as in the um, the heater sorry and not the actual bed the aluminium bed so that's this is, might be a little bit loud so I apologize so one thing I noticed when I was having a look at the kit is that we've obviously got our um, are these these are nine millimeter ones aren't they and we should have so let's see what we've got we've got one two three four five six so that will be our z and our uh y and then we've in no packaging other than sort of a bit of tape around it we've got what's branded so this end is sort of sealed and this end is sort of come undone so it might have sort of happened in shipping rather than it didn't have it on but this is branded as a, a high wind rail mgnr 12c but you can see it's sort of open um, and it's sort of slightly tarnished so we might have to give that a very very gentle rub with some with a scouring pad just to get that surface rust off but yeah that's branded as a high wind rail so that's uh, quite nice I believe the others are not branded in any way um, and they don't look as greasy as what this high one high wind one is but yeah so there are rails shall i open one and have a see how it, how it rolls yeah there might be a little bit of, oh yeah there is um some oil on there that a bit further up so we don't lose the carriage. 
seems to run okay. But obviously these will all get cleaned up um, probably following Nero 3D's video. Um, I haven't seen any grease or anything included so that's another thing to sort of take note of that you have got you should clean the rails because they've got stuff on them but there's not necessarily the stuff to then reapply and I'm going to need this bit of kitchen roll and perhaps another bit for the bit I'm about to show you or not not just yet but I'm going to need that so yeah there are rails there's not a lot of not a lot of chat going on can we just can you confirm that I'm still live <laughs> and I know there's a little bit of a delay so so here we've got some of those cable um, duck things which will go on the electronics panel panel at the bottom to put stuff in we've got three of those yep all live thank you very much so yeah three of those um, UK mains power lead with a sealed plug um, which says it's fused so that's pretty good I recently bought a form bought a Trident 250 for that price yeah so I think my original V0 thank you Lars for letting me know I'm still live so my uh, V0 was from a form bit form bot kit um, and I've heard that they have improved over time as well so you know any like I said at the beginning of the stream any sort of thing that we might think oh that's not that quite that's not very good or we do it differently obviously I'm going to be feeding all that information back so I, I would certainly and I get the impression that they are cyborg the people I've spoken to are open to feedback we've just had Ronnie subscribe thank you very much Ronnie um, so let's have a look at our stepper drivers and such so we've got seven um, Fizetech 2209 stepper drivers with with the heat sinks a little screwdriver um, a cable which I believe is for powering it from the spider board and we've got this little weird still not used to where that camera is um, this little adapter here which goes in to the spider board and I know I was reading on the discord channel that that sort of catches a couple of people out they weren't aware that they had to be installed so that actually goes on this connector here yeah I, I mean I just sniffed the board because it did it's got a little bit of a an electronic smell to it anyway <laughs> sorry um yeah so vorons i mean they're the the sort of in thing at the moment aren't they um re everyone's wanting to build a voron a and the price is a little bit high for some people especially i mean I don't want to talk too too much about other kits but the LDO kit while I'm sure is the quality is will be damn good you know and nearly double the price of what this kit is um, it's quite a lot uh, the nice electronic smell the sort of smell from new components that are sort of fresh out of the packaging so I'll hold that up we can perhaps have a look at that if I can remember where to hold it there so yeah this is the Voron design does it say by Fize Tech and Fize Tech so I think this is supposed to be yeah this is the Spider 2.3 board 
Um, yeah, USB-C cable, uh, um, socket and cable, and I and the two stepper drivers here are 48 volt compatible, or the sockets I should say. Obviously, you would need to put compatible drivers in, but these two can are capable of um, 48 volts. Yeah, I mean self-sourced self -sourced would be more expensive really because you're having to pay several delivery fees, potential import fees. So yes, there are more expensive options than the LDO kit, but in terms of kits, the LDO kit is quite expensive compared to Cybor, Formbot, um, Feist, I do Feistnet do one, I think they do. So yeah. Yeah, so the cheaper kits are just above the Prusa. Yeah, uh, I would definitely say that a Prusa is a hell of a lot easier to assemble than a, a Voron. But a Voron is also a lot better depending on your use. Um, yeah. I've got a, Vor, uh, got a Prusa over in the corner, a Mark II, which has had several upgrades. So, yeah. So that's actually quite a nice board. I've um, got some of those, just having a quick look. Um, one of those little change or interchangeable fuses in case it blows on the bottom. And then obviously these blade fuses are changeable as well. Yeah, it's nice. Try and get it back in the bag. Right, let me put this back and then I will show you the, uh, the sort of one thing that isn't that great, but also not terrible, I should say. <laughs> So when I, oh, let me just read that question. True, but kits in in this price range are pretty interesting. That's why I like this unboxing. I know there are cheaper kits available than the big names, but putting up 1,000 plus euros blindfolded. Yep. Which is why I've got a kit, because I saw, I think I just saw them randomly on Instagram or it might uh, I I mean I look on Aliexpress quite a lot at various printer parts and stuff um, and I reached out to them and said oh don't really know much about you um, can you let me know what what the kit is like and stuff like that so the reason I eventually got the kit is because I think people sort of need to know about these kit manufacturers and they're only gonna know if someone's got a kit and they're willing to unbox it and give them feedback and whatever. Charlie has just subscribed. I'm always worried that comp comparatively cheap one kits are too good to be true. Very interested to see how this one pans out. Yeah, like I said, I have been surprised so, by some of the stuff I've seen. Um, like the you might have to go back and watch the start of the the vo um, the stream, but the the details of what's included in the kit on the Aliexpress page just say 25 meters of black and red cable. But when I've opened the box, there's a a wiring loom, a fully crimped, um, and it's I can't remember the type of wire. It's not silicon. Is it PTFE or there's another type of wire? with an H I think it looks like the, the nice cable so like that's a complete su surprise didn't know that was in the box let me get this out because this is what I want to talk about so I very briefly when I got the kit I thought I'm gonna have a look just because I want to have a look so we've got our heat pad got our 3m on the bottom PVC and I don't think it's PVC 
Yeah, I can't pronounce that, Adam. But yeah, that Heliflon. I'm not... I would have to get someone who knows... Like, who's had both to look at it. I will compare it with the cable that I got from Printy Please that I use for the umbilical for my V0. I'll see if they look similar. Um, it might not be quite as good quality as that because of where that came from, but it's definitely not um, silicon wire and it's definitely not like the cheap, um, just sort of stranded wire. So, so heat pad, get back to this. This is interesting. This is a dual voltage uh, heat pad. So it's actually got three red wires coming out the bottom. Can you see, let me get a bit of contrast behind it. There you go. So in the instructions that I was sent, and again, uh, this should this should be going on a GitHub at some point. It tells you that obviously two wires will be 110 volts and two wires will be 240 volt or 220 volt. And it just sort of says, oh, just cut one, just cut it off blank, uh, cut it off flush or whatever. So that's a little bit odd. Um, but it is what it is, I suppose. Um, yeah, bit of a funny one. And, and because they're all just all three red wires, it's a bit like, bit like Mission Impossible style which one do I cut um, so I thought that was interesting shall we say perhaps perhaps we can feed that back that there might be a better option but I, I guess they're trying to have one kit that they can send out um, and then we've got the so this is why I needed this and I'll explain why um, so we've got our flexible pad with our magnet on and this magnet has got like a, a clear film over the top so it's not it's still quite sticks quite well yeah so like the yeah PCB here where you would have the 12 and 24 volt um, solder pads Whereas this is obviously a, a silicon mains voltage pad. Um, yeah, for, for mains voltage, very strange. How is the heater coverage of the bed? We'll find that out. So, when I opened this up, I was having a look around and sort of picked some stuff up and thought, oh, got some oil on my hand. Basically, it looks like they've machined the bed and then just stuck it in a box. They've not wiped it or anything, so it's absolutely covered in oil. Like, well, you won't be able to see, but can you see that? It's like really covered in some sort of machine oil or something. It's quite a heavy bed as well. I will try and get it all off in one go so you can see how much there was on there. You see that? Really quite oily. Let's do the other side. Yeah, so that that's something that perhaps could be a little bit better. I'd like to see that sort of cleaned before it's put in a box, especially with a, a magnet and bed put on top of it right so which so this will be the bottom I think so let me just move that that will need a proper clean um, has the bed not been lapped or why is the protective plastic still on drill oil yeah um, good question if that's the case it could be that this I mean it could be that they've applied yeah it's like really greasy underneath it does look like it's been 
um, this could be like glue from this protective film been put on it. Uh, how am I going to get you to see this? So that does look as if it's been flattened. I had the, that looks like um, same sort of surface I had on a tooling plate that I had made before. Let's have a look on this side. Yeah, got the same marks on that side. So I don't think it's, what are the, what are the two types of aluminium? There's like cast and extruded, isn't there? So I think, I'm not sure which one's the best one now, I can't remember. My hands are absolutely filthy now. But someone asked about bed coverage. So you can see that. So this would be the back. So that's bed coverage. Let me get a tape measure. So the bed is a 300 bed and the heater is a 250 which I believe is the spec. I think that's correct isn't it? So yeah what do we think of that? This could well be this could have been stuck on after after it's been machined flat because it doesn't look as if it's been yeah I think it's been stuck on after it's been done so it could I think it's I think the bed's okay but I'm not really an expert on aluminium any of these holes so we've got two tapped holes and then three um, so this looks like a universal plate doesn't it because it's got the two holes at the front two holes at the back which would be for your 2.4 and then it's got the three holes which will be for trident I believe and then we've got two tapped holes here any more questions before I put the bed away about thickness eight mil eight mil thick yeah eight mil thick yeah that's what I'm thinking Sebastian I think it's been machined oh okay so it's been machined flat maybe in a bigger sheet and then protective stuff put on and then some machine work done to it because the the holes obviously go all the way through and then they're countersunk on the top side but that's going to need a real good clean like my hands afterwards what i'm going to do is put a bit of kitchen uh, roll in there before I put the heater and stuff back. So that was that's that was just one thing I noticed that I was a bit iffy about. Like I'd, I'd like that to be cleaned a bit better first before it's given out. And yeah, the bed is just like odd. It looks the same looks very similar to a Canovo bed obviously it hasn't got any branding on it it's just literally voltage and wattage so it's a 450 watt uh, mains powered bed and then these silicon wires for the power and obviously your thermistor so that's another layer done I'll just take that off and there's some nice things for the next layer so let me just take this off. Ooh. That was the microphone cable.
don't think anything moved did it I'm just going to try and clean my hands a bit let me just take this microphone off so I will be back in just a sec I'm just going off camera hold on Okay, I'm back. Just had to take my jacket off, it's getting a bit warm. So, next layer, got some good stuff on. Um, yeah, let's just dive in, I think. That's mine, I didn't come in the box. Any questions before we move on, or as we move on? I won't get all of the extrusions out. There's not a lot of point. I'll get one out that's got the bind holes cut. Let's just get a bit of everything out and we can go through it. Good stuff. So we've got our um, SSR spring loaded thingy. Wow, that is really, it's quite stiff that spring on there. We've obviously got the DIN rails that all the stuff goes on. Never really worked with DIN rail, so don't know what to expect. Looks quite nice. Ends look nicely cut. you <laughs> not you lot uh, that's what's written on on there cat you <laughs> so yeah we've got our SSR mount and din rails um, yeah not sure how I feel about this um, Obviously, ideally, we'd perhaps have some different colors than the red and black. But what they have done is written on the switch, live and neutral. Um, and it's, it is switching the live and the neutral. And what sort of thickness wire have we got? This is 0.75 mil squared. Don't know what that means in, in terms of if it's any good or not. Should we have a look and see if there is a fuse inside? Doesn't want to come off. There we go. There is a fuse inside. And it has written on it. So I can see. Uh, Alley machine part. I saw you feeling them. To see. So let me just have a look at this and I'll come back to that question. Looks like a 10 amp 250 volt fuse. I think 
that's okay. Um, I think I've seen just in the Discord server today actually someone suggesting lower than that for a a mains f socket fuse because you want it to blow quite quickly. Um, so yeah, just obviously giving you that information. Yeah, so I looked at which end did I look at initially? This end, I thought, oh, that looks quite nice. I I was just giving it a feel anyway, but then I flipped it around, and I think it was just the way the light caught it, because it's got a little sort of discoloration, but it's not sharp at all. It's not particularly straight, um, but it's not sharp at all. Same on this one. Yeah, not sharp. Yeah, not sharp at all. And actually even the, the, the sides of the aluminium bed were really smooth as well. So we've looked at that, looked at that. Uh, let's have a look at the extrusion. So it's, they've obviously been they're cut after anodizing because they, they've obviously got bare ends. <sighs> got a bit of plastic in it, but looks okay. And then we've got the machined blind holes. Uh, can I get that good shot? It just looked nice and square. Yeah, they looked quite nice. Uh, we'll come back to that. So let's have a look at these goodies over here, which is what I'm quite interested in. So this is just a card reader. I'm not interested in that. Uh, we've got the SSR here, which is a Deluxe. I think that's how you pronounce it in a branded box with barcodes and serial numbers. So this is a genuine part. This is exactly the same as the sort that I got with my Canovo bed direct from Canovo, so, which also would have been genuine, I presume. So that's really nice to see. Proper genuine quality parts. Yeah. Happy with that. Any other, anyone got any opinion on brand? Looks quite nice. Like I say, the, the box is fully branded. Probably not gonna be in focus. Looks quite nice. Uh, come back to that. What's in this box? Oh, this is our screen. So I think this is a Fiestech screen as well. Yep, Fiestech uh, Mini. 12864 panel RGB so we can have the the RGB colors match whatever printer colors you could have in this case they'll be red and black and then obviously we've got our ribbon cables Two. whether they're going to be long enough we'll wait and see they've got like a normally they're very grey but these have or a pale grey these have got like a red purpley tinge to them that you can probably see on camera so yeah just some they are aren't they are, are what they are aren't they just some cables right so as we know Raspberry Pis are pretty difficult to get hold of at the moment um, and there are companies that obviously are bringing out control boards with 
the Raspberry Pi functionality built into them. This is, however, an orange Pi. Don't know an awful lot about them. Um, a new generation of mini PC, it says on the box. But we'll, we'll go back to the difference in their advert on AliExpress and what's in the box. The advert, while it didn't name the model, did have a picture of like a an orange Pi Zero. Um, Octopi or orange Pi? Orange Pi. Octopi is completely different, different thing. Octopi is a control um, system, application if you like, that would go on a Pi. So it's not a Raspberry Pi, it's an orange Pi. I prefer Apple Pi. Anyway, yes, yeah, so the one in the advert was some sort of Pi Zero or Orange Pi Zero, which I didn't think was going to be suitable for this anyway. Um, I have had a, a brief look just to see how big it was because I was curious. But this appears to be more of a um, Pi 3 or even Pi 4 equivalent if I can get the bag open why do they make these so difficult to get stuff out of there we go that nice electronic smell again so yeah this is does it say what model it is orange orange pi 3 lts so this is like a pi 3 um equivalent with um an external wi-fi antenna should probably let you have a look you guys have a look can you see that Yeah, so we've got HDMI connector, um, or what they call it, 3.5 mil audio jack. Um, I would assume that they are USB 3 because they're the color that they are. RJ45 network connector, and then a vertical USB connector. And then that's an infrared receiver. I believe so yeah and it's got H an H6 chip I'm not sure what that actually refers to and it's got it's got a microphone on it as well I've just noticed there yeah. we could perhaps should we quickly see if we can have a look at what that is well I'll have a look and then I'll try and share the page I have n no idea how to really do that but um, orange pie orange pie.org I mean they're up to according to the website they're up to orange pie 5 so they've got quite a few things let me see if I can share a browser source with you browser source no not that source uh, how do I add it up show new source instead chrome uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Ch -ch -ch. any idea how we what's this no Do I, oh, how do I, let's get rid of that. How would I share? Nice alternative of the Pi would be Odroid M1 has something as well. Um, just bear with me a second guys. Oh, what about display, no, not display capture, window capture maybe. Try that. Add source. Window. 
Orange Pie website. There we go. Right. I will just put that on there for now so you can see what it is. Um, you can see all my shortcuts, never mind. Nothing, nothing naughty. Ah, so there's that's the one we've got. Orange Pie 3 LTS. Is that what I said? Yeah. So it's got a USB 2, USB 3, 2 gig of DDR3 S RAM, an 8 gigabyte EMMC flash, Type C US Type C. Yep, Type C USB connected HDMI, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 5. Um, yeah, looks pretty good to me. Hardware features. So it's got a Okay, so we've got two models next to each other here. So it's a 1.8 gigahertz CPU with a four core. Uh, normal ethernet stuff. Power interface, USB interface. And then there's just a size comparison between so the LTS, I assume, is like a light version. I think that's what that probably means. Because obviously it's not as big as the the one that's next to it. Um, yeah. I don't know if you're still in the chat, Adam, Vector3D. Would the, without saying too much, the thing that you sent me work with this one, do you know? Work with this old Pi alternative? So there's all of the stuff that's on. Yeah, so we've got a mic, IR receiver, some LEDs, power switch. Okay, it's got a power switch. 26 pin header. I don't know what half of these other type of things are. Quad core 1.8 gigahertz CPU. There's the output. Adam, if that's of any use to you. The most frustrating thing about any non-Raspberry SBC for me has been the lack of long-term software support. Yeah, okay. Is that software, is that support from, so like, say for Clipper and stuff like that, or, um, well, I suppose whatever instance you've got the Pi for, and then what software you're using. Yeah, so that looks like a pretty good thing. There's some, so it runs Android, Ubuntu, and Linux Debian, Debian, some pictures of it, some booty shots. Yeah, so I think that looks pretty good actually. Like I said, the, I'll just turn that off now. Um, like I said, what, not getting any more. Okay. It would be the operating system, yeah. Um, I'll tell you one thing I haven't seen yet uh, is a micro SD card. Don't know about the rest of you. So obviously we've got this box to have a look in and we'll have a look in there. There might be in there, but that literally just occurred to me that I've not seen an SD card. But yeah, I'm quite happy with this, to be honest with you. Um, like I said, I was expecting something different because of the sort of advertising. How the hell am I supposed to get this back in here? But I think that will be a suitable alternative. And it also means that it, it, if you've got, I mean, this comes with the spider board, but let's assume you already had an octopus Pro or whatever, um, I don't see why you wouldn't better use this with that. 
due to the shortage in pies I'm running clipper on a overpowered NUC cost me a leg and a arm <laughs> I said yeah I mean there are obviously we're, everyone's trying to find alternatives aren't there um, there was someone posted in the Voron discord about using one of these um, little media streamer type things okay might be pre-flashed yep yeah, could be I will have to find that out I haven't don't know um, yeah so th this media streamer that you can buy from Amazon for like I think it's like 20 quid 25 quid and then you can run clipper on it you have to it's not like the traditional way of getting clipper on there but it's entirely possible to put clipper on it so yeah great so let's have a look at this then this is a big old hardware kit now I'm sort of wondering how they've managed to fit everything in here to, f to make this printer but we'll have a look I've not looked in here at all this is the first time I've looked in here as well um, so we've got some shafts some D shafts shafts so we've got four longer D shafts which will be for our Z drives and then a shorter one for our Z end stop probe thingy some um, pneumatic couple of thingies clipper on's nice on almost any Linux machine especially with the Kaha car installer yeah I've never used that I've always done I don't want to say the the normal way or the traditional way but I've done it just by putting the image on a part on a SD card um, sorry the either the fluid pie or mainsail and just put that image on but maybe we'll at some point give that a go um, so yeah let's have a look what we've got in here so we've got some crimp terminals just a few for again the I get the feeling this was perhaps made um, maybe the the wiring loom that I've seen wasn't originally in the kit and it's now been added because these would obviously be for that there's actually I didn't notice that I've actually got a thing on here it tells us what's in there got our M3 inserts 90 90 of them don't think there's 90 in there but maybe there is um, M3 hammerhead nuts uh, knurled M4 knurled nuts and some magnets magnets so there are bed uh, or the not the magnets but the the no knob things are for the bed some hammer nuts some rolling t nuts 130 some n5 ones 61 of a bmg extruder kit because remember this is the kit for the afterburner not the stealth burner Although are these in the stealth burner? I'm not. I've not built one, so I'm not entirely sure. Um, the the BMG gears actually look all right. I've had some that were very dodgy in the past, but they look okay. Um, M38, 209 of them. So there's not a lot of. I I'm wondering if there is enough in here because I there might well be I haven't really studied it but I stealth burner uses BMG as well okay so the stealth burner is I get confused because clockwork is the bit um, that's for the actual filament drive isn't it clockwork stealth burner is more just the cooling part of it is that right so clockwork without something like that it would be hard to find what you need 
for each step. Yeah, it is quite nice to have everything in one box. So we've got 16 tooth pulleys, 20 tooth pulleys, which are nine mil wide and then six mil wide as well. And then various nuts and bolts. Stealth burner plus CW2, only difference with from afterburner are stepper LEDs. Okay. Plot work versus extruder, stealth burner is the whole tool head. Okay, cool, thank you. Yeah, so something I noticed the other today when I was looking at on the Voron website you can get a configuration to come up which then gives you a list of the which then lists gives you a bomb basically for the size that you choose you can use CW1 or CW2 with it cool um, yeah, but if you then click on the sourcing guide, the sourcing guide is, I believe, from what people have told me, is one for a 250 size machine, and also not updated for um, R2. So, depending on what Cybor have looked at to build this, I'm not entirely sure if there's, if there may be a few missing nuts and bolts. Like I say, I haven't really looked at it to about give that answer, so I'm not saying there is anything missed, I'm just saying that could well be. But everything looks pretty nice. Some washers, some nuts. Yeah. Looks pretty good. And it is quite nice. To, I mean, I actually had sort of got a little box ready that I was going to empty nuts and bolts into, but I don't need to now because it's all in this nice little container. So, 304 stainless steel screws, neatly sorted, quality accessories, reliable and durable. There you go. R2 is still afterburner, yeah. But there is, so I don't know if you were at the beginning of the stream, Nick, but the feet that are included with this are more like, so they're up, they're buried down there somewhere, but they're more similar to these ones, which I had for another project, than they are like the, the more hockey puck type. And I thought that was an R2 thing. I'm not in, excuse me, I'm not entirely sure what the, the differences are for R2. Evening. Nice to have another viewer. You're actually joining quite late. We're almost finished, I guess. Um, let me put this back. And I think the last thing is the panels, which we might not look at, but we're gonna have to have a look at the ABS printed parts that were included in the kit. That's definitely what we've got to look at next. So I'll just put this stuff back. But yeah, nice to have that kit all in one make it a lot easier to find the bits you need and when you need them if anyone's got any questions then please they get yeah so the rails we've got um i forget how many i've said now obviously got one two three four Five, six, I think we've got six MGN nines, and then we've got the one MGN twelve. Which, so if you weren't here when I looked at those, the the nine MGN nines are not branded, but the MGN twelve is branded as a high wind linear rail. I think the biggest difference in R two is the rail okay i thought there was some other sort of yeah i don't know i just i thought there was other changes but i might be mistaken Yeah, 
Ronnie. It, it does look certainly look as if you've got your money's worth. I definitely would agree to that. There's a few little things that I think could be polished, like again, don't know if you've watched the whole stream, but cleaning the bed from machine oil looks a bit. I mean, it was really greasy. Um, just literally a few minor things, though. I'm not. I don't think that I've seen anything so far that would say that this is a not a kit to buy. I think this is looking pretty good, actually. Um, I think we said earlier, like the kit plus the shipping was about eight fifty, um, which is pretty good. So your your um, an LDO kit is slightly less than half. Of, no, what am I trying to say? This is slightly more than half the cost of an LDO kit. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, do we want to have a look at the panels? Is that something we we want to have a look at? I guess we should, shouldn't we? Let's do a proper unboxing. Let's try not to get the cable caught this time. Don't really know what we're looking for in terms of their stepper online, Sebastian. We can, I can grab those out in a minute as well if you want to have another look. Let me grab some of this stuff out. Steppers, stepper online, something like that. I mean, I guess there's not really a lot to look at in terms of the panels is there yeah no oak oakers they are the ones that were in the form bot i had them in my form bot v0 kit might get whacked with a vat valve ordering it to the uk though charlie um i so far have not had a bill uh it was only this was literally delivered today so might come in the post don't know um what i would say is without uh, without mentioning names and going into too much detail one of the reasons i've got this kit is to let a potential um distributor in the uk know what the kit is like i will say that so you might be able to buy it from a UK seller at some point. I'm not saying when that will be, but I think they sell a 2.4 step the kit on their website, probably the same models. Yeah, I, I wouldn't see why not. They sell quite a few different um, Voron parts. So yeah, I don't really know what I'm looking for in terms of looking at the panels. I'm guessing that's the, the deck panel or electronics panel don't know if you're about to see that it's quite big that's definitely that polycarbonate panels uh does it say oh, yeah part this is a polycarbonate sheet is that good or bad here in netherlands you know if you pay if you have to pay tax and import it is when the package is at customers not yeah i I can't remember, FedEx definitely I've paid before I've got it. This was from UPS. Um, I I do vaguely remember once ordering something from the US and it came and I had it, I must have had it for at least a week and then I got a bill. So, so when I looked at this kit on AliExpress, Ronnie, um, some times when you go through the checkout on Aliexpress with some sellers it does add import duty VAT or whatever you want to call it on a di on a top of the um, shipping cost it did not do that so 
whether it's included in that price when they like I haven't really looked at any of the documentation on the box so let me try and catch up on things when we leave when we Okay, good, more heat resistant, that's good. Brexit is messed up, yep. <laughs> that's the, is that a back panel? I think it is, that's the back panel. And then obviously the clear stuff is the size and the front. Don't, I mean, we don't really need to look much more than that. I think that's pretty much, and there's that, that's the bottom panel, isn't it? Yeah, pretty sure. I'll put these back, we don't really need to look at these. I'm pretty keen to look at the printed parts, to be honest. I wanna see what they're all about. Because for me, that's a, a really good added feature of this kit, that it comes with ABS printed parts. It's the functional parts, so you would still have to print skirts and clips and stuff, but I think that's pretty good. I'll have the tax of delivery with FedEx too. Rarely, uh, rarely have anything shipped through them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the link in the description is not an affiliate link. Uh, there's no, um, yeah, that's not an affiliate link. There, was talk of potentially having some sort of discount code i probably should have said that at the start of the stream but i haven't been given that yet um so yeah i think nick probably acrylic is more likely to bend under the heat than polycarbonate but i'm not entirely sure i think someone said earlier that polycarbonate is more re heat resistant going to try and put some of these layers back in the box and then we can uh, have a look at the printed parts try not to drop everything while I do it or get a Y tangled up So for though for who was asking, there's one of the stepper motors. It's upside down. Stepper online. There's a part number and a serial number if you want to check that. Yeah. Yeah, Nick. So they, they, I think they include printed parts with all of the kits they do. The, the zero, the two point four, and the Trident. There's an option to have nylon parts. I think they're machine nylon parts. But I chose to have the ABS parts to to be more like, um, a a proper Voron build. Yes, Ronnie. So I've got ABS parts. Let's have a look at them. Just try to get this motor in here without damaging it. No idea what was in that hole. Right, where did I put them? Here.
yeah so just a box labeled ABS parts and you can definitely smell the ABS smell when you when I open the box I had a very brief look at them and I I thought they looked quite nice they've got um, a textured let's try and is there any part anyone particularly wants to look at so there's a very small bit of filament come out of the the top of the the afterburner duct black is not really going to show up brilliantly well on this camera is it what I probably will do is get some photos done and put them on the community page or the community tab of my YouTube page yeah so this looks quite nice this look like it looks like it was done on a smooth bed so some have got a textured some have got smooth it's actually quite a dark red as well which I quite like um, you can definitely see they've used a lot of perimeters so they've sort of followed the Voron specifications is there any particular part that we should look at that would be um, difficult to print or one of the harder ones to print yeah so Ronnie thinks that they they did the taxes in the shipping price I should probably have a look at some of the the labels on the box to see if there's something like that yeah it is a nice red I don't know how well it sort of comes out on the camera but it is quite a dark red and that uh, honestly they do look pr quite nice I'm really quite impressed with them I know again full disclosure I know that there was some people had a few issues with um, some V0 parts they were talking about it on the discord server um, obviously I won't really know until I start using it but they do look quite nice to me like I said it's we've got a, looks like we've got a um, a, a a selection of stuff printed on a smooth bed and a textured bed yeah um, I wonder let me just see if the um, laptop camera hello um, does a better no it doesn't I was going to say does it a do a better representation of the printed parts but I don't think it does they don't look too bad though I don't think but they're yeah they are definitely more red than orange 3dp uk don't worry about miss don't missing the start i mean we're two hours in now but don't worry about that so we're just having a look at the printed parts there's no warping on that on those parts that i've just picked up they look pretty good um one thing ah so this was actually a question i had for myself actually um so obviously the functional parts must include the one piece of skirt that has the power socket in the only the only thing i would say about having the functional parts included in the kit which is great because obviously you can build the printer you're going to struggle to match the parts aren't you um i think I think the AliExpress page says that they use eSun ABS Plus. So, but 
we might be able to match the colour perfectly. No whooping on that bit. I I am really impressed with these. No idea what this little tiny little piece is. Haven't I should have probably looked at more about what the parts are, but uh, did someone ask? Oh, I think I think they were talking about the link to the stream, Nick. Yeah, it's supposed to be eSun ABS Plus. That's what the AliExpress page says. I'm just going to get these parts out because I'm, I'm really happy with them. I think they look great. We've got some, um, got the power supply DIN rail mount. This, this for me is what makes this kit worth it. Oh, and we've also got the, the rail alignment guide. So I believe, what's the price difference versus getting the printed parts via PIF? So PIF, I think it's a hundred euros. Let's have a look. I'm not gonna bother guessing, let's have a look. Um, I will bring this up for you in a sec. Let me move this. Uh, so let's bring this up. Here we go. So pricing. So. Voron 2.4 functional part kit is 100 USD slash euros plus shipping. Um, so to have these included in the kit for what I think we've agreed is about, it's gonna be about 850 pound delivered. I mean, that's to me in the UK. Obviously I don't know what that price is in other money units. Um, so yeah, we can see there how much the the things are. And then obviously, if you was to get the, the parts printed by uh, a third party provider, I think the price is about the same for the functional parts. If you was to get the whole lot printed, I think you add like another 60 pound to that. So. All the kits listed with parts you might be able to contact them yeah you might well be able to like i said i think they are very uh willing to help out in in that regard in other things um yeah so there's our other part for our hot end clips in there are quite nice Yeah, this camera is not got a sharp black at all. Uh, 3DP UK, yeah. Link to the stream. So, yeah, I've made uh, 3D printing videos for a while. I had took a big break, which obviously you would have seen in the channel update video before this one. Um, but yeah, I want to get back into it. So back I guess you could also potentially like someone was saying you might be able to contact them to get a full kit you you might be able to contact them and say I don't want any printed parts I'll get them done because I want them in a different color I'm guessing they will only do in black and red just because they'll probably buy the filament in bulk uh, let's put the other camera on this is a bit washed out because I the the camera wasn't that very really good. When I click add to cart on the extra screen.
Ronnie, unfortunately, I have no idea what that um, what that error will be. I would contact them through the page if you wanted to find out more about it. And let me just see what happens if I click the link. Uh, let me just make sure I haven't got. I'm still not sharing the page yet. <laughs> That's me talking. Uh, let's have a look. So I'll click the link. We'll go down to the Voron. So you said it was just if you added it to cart. It lets me add it to cart. I wonder if it's. Someone's ordered a form bot kit. You might be pretty jealous of this one. That's all I'm saying. I mean, if 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 you're able to print uh, ABS, then that might be the way you want to go. It's like grass seed in here. So it looks like they've obviously put everything in in groups in here this is our one of our z drives yeah looks really nice to me yeah it worked for me i wonder if it's because um it's a uk i was on the uk version of the website or anything no idea but yeah it's added it to the cart for me and it tells me 822 pounds would be the delivery or the sorry not the delivery the um total cost for some reason i've got a voucher for 18 pound no idea if that's something that's currently available on yeah oh there's a coupon so i want yeah i don't as far as i'm aware the link is not is nothing special it's just a link What's different on this kit? I did look at the V01. Um, different as in what? Comparing it with what? Oh, this is the 300 mil. Sorry, yeah, 300 mil. So it's got 300 mil aluminium bed with a 250 mil heater. Um, obviously the V0 is a different printer. This is a 2.4. Ooh, 1,474 euros. So yeah, what I was gonna say, Colli 05, this kit comes with printed parts, um, functional printed parts. So you could effectively, if you're not able to print ABS for whatever reason, or you don't wanna spend extra on going PIF or third party, then you've got the functional ABS parts in the kit for that 800 and, say we'll call it 850 because it might vary from where you are. That, I think that's pretty good. I think you're gonna, I think you'd be pretty happy if you got this and found that you've got your printed parts and you're effectively You've effectively got a printer in a box, haven't you? Obviously, you've got to build it, but yeah. Like I say, if there's any, if anyone knows of parts in here that are particularly difficult to print or they want to have a closer look at, then let me know. So there's an RS25. That's for the, is that for the, I don't know what that's for. That might be for the um, SSR clip. So we've got a, a mount for the spider board. We've got the little levers for the Z drives. We've got the front for our afterburner. I'm not gonna get used to the way this camera works. 
looks pretty nice yeah I I'm I would be very happy with these parts if I printed these myself So that was printed in that orientation. We've got a slight, a very only a very slight little bit on the overhang, but not nothing to worry about. Lars, I believe it is eSun um, ABS. That's what the AliExpress listing suggests. Um, eSun ABS Plus. Yeah, that's what the listing suggests. So. We can only assume that's correct. And we've even got, so this is also another little, one of the assistant jigs for putting, for assembly. We've already had one for the rail. So they've even included those parts, which is really good. We've got one for the MGN 9, one for the MGN 12. Probably got a couple actually. Yeah, we have. I, I've picked it out there. Uh, yeah, I don't really know what the parts are. So that's why I was saying, if there's anything you want me to particularly look at, let me know. There's the, uh, the idler, <laughs> love it. There we go. Top layers look nice as well. about the same price with stealth burner what I meant was I looked at this kit for the O1 yeah I so okay I'm not entirely sure I understand what your question is but they do actually they have got two v, uh, v0 kits one they've called the young and the one that's called the standard as far as I'm aware the young is um how do i say this sort of a a cut down version it doesn't have like the aluminium bed or the yeah like the six mil or however thick aluminium bed it has like a pcb heater um and a couple of other differences so the, there's two v01 kits i know that for sure but I think both of those come with printed parts as well. Yeah, I mean these kits look, these printed parts do look really nice. What, let's see if I can find the, the part that's for the um, Z stop. Oh, that's that, isn't it? Yeah. This one's got a, might have a tiny bit of Z squish. Okay. Yeah, not a problem. Charlie. Like I said, I'm not entirely sure if both of the AliExpress stores are theirs. I was sort of sort of led to believe that one of them was not theirs. Um, so yeah, I'm not entirely sure about that. But yeah, I think they, they do have one that has metal CNC parts, as they call it. You might get a Vector 3D LED strip for that printer. Lars. <laughs> How did you know? I might have two sitting on the shelf over there. 
as well as a uh, a Neo, an RGB, no, what do they call them? Um, yeah, I've got them. I've got some already. I've got, and I should say again, I you have to do all this disclosure stuff if you're or practically advertising stuff. Adam was very kind to send me those um, as a thank you for being a mod for his channel and for his Discord, which you should check out by the way, his channel and his Discord. Um, he also sent me the parts for the vertical linear vin the vertical linear motion press so that we can put the heat set inserts into these parts really accurately and consistently neopixel yeah i think they are they not called let me grab them. hold on i think this cable will reach long enough yeah so uh daybreak neo mini by vector 3d so that one will go in the v0 and then we've got daybreak by vector 3d 24 volt we've got two of these so these will go in to illuminate stuff collie I'm, I'm, I apologize if that's not your name. How much was the import tax? So far, uh, again, I should say this kit was provided by Cybor for free for the purpose of review and feedback. But at the moment, I have not had a bill for input tax. Um, I think there's been some discussion in the chat that that might have been included in their shipping cost um that they charge at uh the checkout but so far i mean this did only arrive today so you know but if something comes in i will put that in uh, i should say yes i've been giving this given this kit for free to make a video on and whatever but everything i say is my own opinion um early start sign off okay richard thank you very much for coming along i think we'll be wrapping up fairly soon anyway um yeah i'm looking forward to the build as well actually i don't know if you've started your, I, I won't ask you a question because you're going but yeah we might build together um collie no this was from ups not dhl um yeah I honestly cannot get over how good these printed parts are. I mean, I would say they're as good as the ones I printed for my V0, and I was pretty happy with the parts that I printed. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy. That's a mount for the power supply, I believe. There's no way I'm gonna get all these back in the box neatly. So we might have to transfer these into a different box, but no idea what that part is. Where is the, um, oh, that's this, isn't it? Have I got another one of these out? Just having a look for the part, here we go. So these are the, carriage parts same as mine then that's called what did you get what kit i got the form bot kit on the v0 collie um but that was quite a while ago i've had that for a little while now Good parts equal half the build, yeah. I mean, you can, from Stefan's recent um, Voron build, what did he say he spent, was it 200 hours printing the parts? Um, so we've saved a lot of time there. Obviously we've got 
the other parts to print once we're once we've got a functional printer. Sean, excellent, we'll do. <laughs> yeah, I can shall I show you my V0 if I can get it down? Sort of I have it up on the shelf. Let me put some of this stuff away and we'll perhaps go on a tangent for the remaining time of the stream. Like I said, these are not going to fit back in the box. But that's okay, because we're going to start building it. Not today, but we will. Really happy with them. Right, let me see if I can get my V0. Adjust the camera a bit. There we go. So I've got the Nevermore to put in to fit. Just got to wait for a couple of bits. The colours really are washed out. This is a really nice orange on the thing on the screen, on the, on the screen in real life. I think printed printed for two two to three weeks for my V0, uh, for your 2.4 Lars, yeah. So this is gonna save me a lot of time when building the 2.4. Did want to have a look at these wires on the umbilical and see what I think, how they look compared to these ones. To see if we can sort of say if they're the same wire. They. So they not they're not identical and actually there's some some thicker cables for which I presume are the power cables in this yeah they are so the cables for the power are actually slightly thicker yeah so this is my 0 0.1 LGX um, light extruder and we've got like the top hat extension because we've got the um, what do they call these early, these PCBs? It's the umbilical PCB, so we're just got the umbilical cable. Um, yeah, we've got the LDO Kiriyami bed with LEDs in it and everything. Obviously, this will have. Uh, Vector 3D's Daybreak um, LEDs in. Magnetic top. And then we've got, a, I don't know if you can see that little screen at the front. In hindsight, I probably would have gone with the, the one with the little um, encoder, because the screen really doesn't do anything. It just tells you what temperatures are at and what uh, progress of the print is but still quite nice so yeah so I think really I think we're we've come to the end of the stream um, I think hopefully you've had a good look at the the kit let me change camera hope you have had a good look at the kit is it dark blue no it's purple and orange <laughs> the colors are absolutely awful on the on this camera uh, if you look on my Instagram or yeah Instagram is probably the best place to look that's a more representation good a better representation of the color you might be able to see it a little bit better in the in this um, camera this is the laptop camera yeah it looks a bit better in there purple and orange no problem Lars yeah so hopefully um that was a good unboxing we had a look at all the parts um like i said overall i'm really happy with the kit there's a couple of things i'm going to feed back but they are literally m probably 
minor, very minor things that I'm sort of a bit nitpicky about. Just cleaning the bed of oil and putting this sort of gunky stuff in the connector, which I really do not like. I want to be able to do stuff to the cable if I want to. Yeah, so I think that's going to end it there. Um, no, I think we'll stay on that camera. I think we've looked at everything. Um, I'm happy with it. There will be obviously more videos on the kit going forward when we actually get to build it. I don't think I'm going to um, do like a build series because I think there are so many other people doing them that it won't. you won't really... There's nothing to really gain by it. What I sort of plan to do is to, to build some bits, get to the stage where, hope they tested the cable then. You, exactly, that's what I'm saying. So we'll feed that back for sure. So yeah, I wanna sort of build some of the kit, get to the point where um, we're making progress and then I can do either a little live stream where we do something or or, or I'll do a video like I said at the moment because I've got a bit of technical trouble with cameras because the cameras both died on me all we've got is webcams so yeah there's stuff there will be stuff coming so yeah I think I'm going to end it there thank you very much for coming along um, any questions you have after the live stream put them in the comments and I'll give you an answer so yeah, thanks for watching. See you later.